This is a book called Good Night Moon. And this might make you sleepy. Please don't fall asleep. <gasps> when I first saw Good Night Moon and read it, I was like, wow, like what is it about this book that's captivating kids? And then I realized it's everything. It's a child's room, it's a child's brain, and it's the calming effect that words on a page can have. So powerful that Good Night Moon has sold more than 40 million copies and has been translated into 26 languages. And a little toy Ow. read around the earth. Good Night Room. And high above it. There's even a trove of parodies good nighting everything from presidents to iPads. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. And more than a few famous faces have big good night to mush night and brush. And good night to the old lady who is whispering hush. But for grown-ups, perhaps more enchanting than the book itself is the larger-than-life tale of the woman behind it, Margaret Wise Brown. She had a very big personality. She was very flamboyant. I think if you picture sort of an old-fashioned, shishy, authoritative children's book author, she wasn't that way at all. Instead, this New Yorker had a storied love life filled with broken engagements and forbidden romances. She came from wealth and lived lavishly. When she signed her first book contract, she spontaneously decided to buy an entire flower vendor's cart full of flowers. And she filled up her apartment with all of the flowers and then invited all of her friends over for a party. And I think that really sums up just who she was. Though Brown claims she did not especially like children, she could speak their language. With a writing style as pioneering as her spirit, her books had a childlike simplicity that was radical for the day. She believed that this was what children's books sh should be, but at the time she published it, there were many very prominent, very important people in the world of children's publishing who didn't agree with her. In fact, when Good Night Moon was first published in the 40s, the head librarian at the New York Public Library refused to stock it. Her mandate lasted two decades, though today the book is one of the library's top checkouts. Good Night Moon is definitely one of the most popular books probably in the history of the library, even given that it wasn't here for the first 20 years after it was published. And good night. Good job. As for Margaret Wise Brown, hers was a brilliant life cut short. At just 42, her career was flourishing and she was engaged to a Rockefeller, but she died suddenly from complications after a minor surgery. She would never know just how her work had transformed children's literature and bedtime forever. And a quiet old lady who was whispering, and in this world where everything is moving so fast and so many things change, and there's a new this and a new that, sometimes it's nice to just look and go, some things are just as they always were. And that is really what Good Night Moon is. Good night noises everywhere. I mean, wow. first of all, isn't it so fascinating, the story behind? Yes. It's I mean, like a movie. You, 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 can't, you can't believe it. Yeah, Margaret Wise Brown, she, she didn't have children, didn't particularly like them, but yet wrote this <laughs> book that all the kids yeah. are reading. Right. She yeah. knew that what was working in their brains, yeah. and, whether and you like them or not. It's just naming things in a room. Yeah. Good night, it's, bears. It's good the good night, night nobody yeah. that always good night, nobody. was a little weird to me when yeah. I was oh, reading it, right. but you just kind of good night, But it's bears. also Back one of those books that as a parent you love to read. Yeah. It's the perfect yeah. length. It's just fun to say. You like it because it's short. It wraps. Can we say a big thank you to the New York Public Library? They allowed me to host a little story time there. And by the way, Harper Collins is releasing a special anniversary edition of Good Night Moon on August 30th. So and that, why not? that audio recording comes out on September 13th. So now, folks, here's the best part. You can wake up with Hoda, and Hoda's <laughs> going to help you put your kids to bed at night as well. Putting for, your kids to bed is the best for free. part, I know. She'll do it for free. <laughs> but it's for kids. I, I'm, I may use it, Hoda. It's like, yeah. you, Don't you had the right cadence there. <laughs> kind of makes you drift off. <laughs> that for, book does For it. more information and to pre-order, by the way, you can go to our website today.com. You've got the perfect voice for an audio. <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's front and center on our bookshelf, so I think we're going to yeah. read that tonight. Yeah. Yes, we, by the way, they always idea. choose that book over any book I've ever written. They're like, I short. don't want yours. I want that one. Good night. Hey, no, Mommy wrote one. No, I don't yeah. want that. Well, now they can listen to you yeah. read it. So. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.